Oh, shit. back up, back up. This is um, hemlock bark. <laughs> Looking good. Drop on three. Now I just don't want to kick too much dirt. Perfect. Okay. You need to hold that one and I'll drop the next one. I got a really good handle. Yeah, you got good handles? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. I think that was, awesome. that was way lighter than I thought. Is the top a little? No, no, I, I like the end of the I kind of like it. I don't know. I don't want to. It's good. Okay, there. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Don't push too hard. That was a too much. Get it more toward the edge. More, more this way. You're in. Pull on that and get that end over. Mine is blocked. Uh, so let's just go. One, two. Hold it. Okay. Woo! Oh, <laughs> <Bloody> <laughs> <beautiful>. <laughs> 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 
And I was like, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> this boat's supposed to be able to hold 10 people, so I figured yeah. one person and a witch stove. <laughs> yeah, it's like four people. So we got to walk on this. I'm going to walk backwards again. You walk yeah. forwards. We'll Where go just, just before the... Put the pallet there. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to go backwards. So like, you got it there? Yeah. Hey, what's up there? Just working on the dome. I'm securing the dome to the ring so we can open and close it um, to let some airflow in or when the wood stove is open to have the smoke c c come out so it's not trapped in there. Cool. The dome's done. It's working. <laughs> I, I did it. Nice job, babe. There you go. Now you, you don't have to suffocate anymore. <laughs> and if the smoke starts coming in, I do this. <laughs> Hey, congratulations. Congratulations. We did it again. It is a pain in the butt to put wood stoves in. I don't want to do it full time. It's very tedious work, but you better get used to it. I mean, we have more structures to build than any wood stoves. <laughs> it's going to give warmth to Dylan. So. And if Dylan um, stays, he's got warmth. He's got the ability to cook. It keeps everything dry. The hardest thing about our environment is something that the camera doesn't pick up. It's just, it's the moisture that's in everything. And I don't think those of you who are at home watching and saying, I can make a fire like nobody's business. We've already had three people out here who are studs at fire building who literally gave up because just the moisture in the wood, in the air, um, it's unparalleled. It's very difficult to light a fire in this climate unless you've been here for a while and you've seasoned your wood. Yeah. Nicole's a really nice fire maker. So we're gonna kind of work together to show you guys kind of how we make the fire quick in the morning. The goal is to wake up in the morning, either have the fire still going, or if it ran out while we were sleeping, to light it quick and get it warm and dry real fast. So we do certain things like if we're ever in town or um, we get these advertisements in our PO box, you guys can see down below. We save this stuff and this is our kindling first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. We're constantly putting wood aside. So we've got some scrap pieces that we've hatcheted into little kindling pieces and uh, they're gonna become the base. So we start really small and then we build the fire up. So you'll see, we make a tower. 
The way that I've been building it most efficiently is to make a tic-tac-toe. So here, 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 here. Start small and then get bigger and bigger and bigger because you want to be able to make the transition from small pieces to big pieces. So I stuff it, start small, build the tower, and then I stuff big chunks on the top and the sides. Because every time you open it, when it's just getting lit, smoke comes in. Okay, so I get the tower to about here and then I start putting all the big pieces because I'm pretty sure my fire is going to transition upward. So now I'll start just packing it as full as I can. So the goal is not to have to open the door until it's raging. You could do the first fire. Thanks, babe. <laughs> And then I try to light it so that it has, you know, fire coming from about three different places. And then uh, close the door, but don't lock it. Just keep it kind of cracked. And that way some good oxygen is coming in and... Uh, and see if we even did it right. And if you know, there's no smoke coming out of anything. <laughs> yeah. And of course you guys know the eco fan up here. This is um, like a heat operated fan that once it gets hot on top, the fan will start and then no electricity needed. It just blows the hot air into the living space. They're pretty awesome eco fans. It also keeps the temperature away from frying straight up and frying the yurt. It kind of blows the heat and disperses it. We'll see. But one thing I do is um, Nicole got these great things off Etsy and we're going to be building them ourselves so we can use them here. And it's just a copper pipe that has a, a cap with a hole punched in it. We did it. Yeah. All right. Don't you think now two years under our belt that we do work pretty well together? Yeah, I see we work pretty well together. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not like perfect, but. I think we work pretty well together. Mm -hmm. We haven't killed each other and we're living off grid together <laughs> in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. It's getting warm. Yay. My hand almost can't stay here any longer. How long can I take it? Stop. <laughs> Blow it, babe. Blow it. Fire breath yoga. <coughs> oh, lion's breath. Lion's breath. Hey, morning. Good morning. What are we going to do today? We're going to build a shower. Well, <laughs> our seventh shower. <laughs> <laughs> like 2.7. Well, first we got here. We needed the shower. Um, we just had a camping bag. Yeah, have you guys been following as we've gone through a lot of different showers? Then we had the blue tank that was just gravity. Now we have the outdoor shower that's um, heated with a tankless water heater and propane tank. Now we're going to move the shower, enclose it, make a steam room effect with logs from the forest, but also put it next to the flue pipe for the yurt's wood stove, because ultimately on the way we have a water jacket that's gonna go in our wood stove instead of fire brick, so that when the wood stove's on, it heats a metal tank of water that then we can run that hot water into the shower and heat our water for yeah. free. And eventually behind us, we'll have an actual bathroom. This is where our bathroom will go, but we'll also still have the outdoor shower just forever, I mean. Yeah. It'd be nice to have a cool outdoor shower. So. Or if we want to move it, all the logs we're using, you'll see we're going to do it in a way where we can easily move them toward another. We're freezing right now. Like We're both shivering. Like Our voices are like... It's a, I it's feel like chilling. I'm an old lady. Let's just get moving and, and get going. We have a little sketch of kind of how it's going to look. <laughs> this is what we have. This is what we're doing. <laughs> can you guys see this? We're going to build an outdoor shower right there. Okay, so... This is also going to give us some privacy because right now our shower we just is very open. Shower out in the forest. Yeah. So let's do it. Okay. 
let's go. You guys can see behind us, we have the Chofu, the wood stove, heated um, hot tub, the hippie hot tub. And then here, this is the back part of the yurt where the, you guys saw me install this flue pipe for the wood stove years ago. And uh, this is where you can see it right now, putting out some good heat. And we're gonna put the shower right here at the foot of this. And so right now we're gonna put the new shower right here. So we gotta enclose this. pole stripping all the poles that we're going to use to make the the shower and so this is um hemlock bark and it's a super pretty color uh, i'm going to snag some of this and um dye some cloths with it so just want to show you guys this is what it looks like and i just think it's so pretty so i'm going to take a whole pot full soak it in water and then um i'll have you guys see what the color is. If you guys are wondering why there's oranges, um, we are actually using them as markers because we couldn't find anything else and oranges actually work really well. So that's why there's oranges. <laughs> Two here. No. And then one in the back. So I'm using this as as one. So one here and one here, and this is the other one. So Straight as you think. 
It looks beautiful. Not as beautiful as you. Are they gonna hold on their own? Okay, so then hold this guy. Is that the right distance? Right. Yeah, I think you're good. Again, it's wood henge instead of stone henge. Blackfish hollow became Como Rebbe became wood henge. You know? Okay, so they get uh, six feet exactly. What do you think? Is it going to fit? Yes, I think so. <sighs> First wall. What do you think? If it was a wall like that? Yeah. Is that a, a privacy screen? <laughs> you got it. Just don't hit the frame. And then before we get too high, we'll put down um, wool. It's gonna be cool. Yay. I like it. <sighs> Just uh, why don't you go to this end and make sure these line up because I'll cut either side. Right, uh, forward a little bit? I uh, know, forward. Oh, sorry. Uh, right there. Okay. That one's kind of small. Forward, uh, back a little bit, right there. Uh, forward a little bit, right there. Can you there first? <laughs> what? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, she so might out there. <laughs> okay, you gotta hold that for me. <sighs> My fingers cut. Wait, just, it's gonna drop. Don't get your fingers cut. Just let go. One, two, three. <sighs> okay. Now I'll push and you guide. <laughs> a little bit more, like, a little bit more. A little bit more. Right there, so. Uh, one more. In an open forest, we are creating walls. Yeah. But it's nice to have privacy. When we shower. We're trying to create a steam bath effect, so. Yeah. We'll see if it works. I like it. All the power lifting I ever did in the gym is like, for this moment. <laughs> hey, pull the park off of there. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay.
you go. I'm trying to see the these guys from the side. One of the like their best. Pizza, this one looks so nice. I know. Merry it's Christmas. Again. Merry Christmas. I love you. Love you too. Love you. Love you too. Merry Christmas, guys. Be ready in five minutes. <laughs>
Come on, guys, let's go. Come on. Bring it back, let's go. Bring it back. Good job. Come on. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back. Good job, bro. Okay, here we go. Nice job. Bring it back. Bring it back. Come on, bring it back. Vicious Wolverine. Sit. Come on, sit. I right, heard a big one. Get it back, bro. More wheelbarrow full, then we're ready for break. Okay. You look nice and dry. Thanks. Do you want to do them? You need like, a sh 
dirty jobs right here. You need a shower. That's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> this is the shower floor. <laughs> to clean up from building the shower. like I think it's perfect size me too and this thickness will also be great in the future for like shelving and things like that yeah but it's like way lighter and cedar so it's rot resistant and we can get more out of it yeah look at that sweet Make sure it doesn't hit you. Watch out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bench. Yeah. Wait, I got something for you. Oh. Chainsaw mill. Is <laughs> that too low? No, I think it's fine. What is this for? When you're chilling with the mosquitoes in the summertime? No, eventually we want to make this into a cool like dry sauna because we're going to chink um, in between the boards with cob and I'm going to cob between stuff clay cob in I'm going to cob plants. yeah right up in here and then obviously we're not finished with the roof it'll be really closed in so eventually we'll It'll have tight yeah and we'll make it like a dry sauna so but for right now it's we're just aiming towards getting a shower but we'll have a wood stove in here and then you can have the steam effect yeah. Bingo, bingo, bongo, sauna slash up. Yeah. You can shower after your sauna. Yeah. And the hot water for the shower is going to come from the wood stove, which the chimney is right there. You guys have seen it inside the yurt. So I've got um, a water jacket coming that will basically tuck like a duvet around the wood stove with um, little threads, emitters, and I can put copper pipe from that and run the hot water directly from the wood stove to the shower. Yeah, that's what we talked about at the beginning of the video. Oh, last day of the game. pizza oven we still have a lot left so it's just an underlayment you know yeah. rain comes down it's gonna hit these guys and awesome. never get through plus I got left over um, I got left over cedar shingles so I'll put cedar shingles on top of this cool. it looks great it looks like a log cabin you like it like a little mini log cabin <laughs> I might build the uh, the garden shed and solar battery shed the same way yeah cool Thank you for letting me stay dry in here. You're welcome. I made you some chai. 
Nice. Okay, bye. Bye. Recycled cedar shingles. Almost dropped. Nice. It's gonna look awesome. All right, finished up. Let me show you guys what we got, come on in. What powers this shower is down here, check it out. We've got a pump and this pump is powered by this car battery and I charge up this car battery with a solar panel. Then the propane goes into this tankless water heater and that's what heats the water instantly as it comes from the rainwater harvesting tank into this guy. So this tube right here, this goes from a rainwater harvesting tank that the roof of the wok stove that's next to the yurt, it gathers all that rainwater, and then it pulls it through this tube, through this pump, into this water heater, and then it comes up and goes into the shower. But this is not the permanent shower. We put it in this location because coming up, we're gonna run a copper pipe off the wood stove, and as the wood stove is on inside the yurt, it will heat up water that will come right up to this shower, eliminating the need for the propane tank. This is just temporary, so. Let's go find Nicole and see if uh, she enjoys taking a shower in this thing and see if she can figure it out. Rainwater tastes good. <laughs> 